Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Der Rote. And today we're gonna play uh, Mega Man X6. I'm gonna use the Japanese version because there's some voice lines that I don't want to miss. Because the English version cuts some of them. Nah, but whatever. So, Mega Man X6, or as it's called in Japan. Exactly. So, uh, a lot of people consider Mega Man X6 to be the worst Mega Man game ever made. But there are also a lot of defenders of this game. Mm, my opinion on it is... It is the worst game I've ever played that I can enjoy. <laughs> so, sometimes I don't even know why I'm, I'm enjoying this game. I mean, I know why I'm playing it, because I enjoy it. Huh? But, yes... <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I just find some enjoyment with this game, and it's not about breaking it or something, it's it's just... Yeah, like I said, sometimes I don't even know why I'm... <laughs> why I like playing it. <laughs> I would never consider it to be a good game. Like, it has so many obvious objective issues. That, like I said, it, it, I would never say it's a good game. But, it's certainly a game that I can enjoy, and you will see that. I played it so often that... I think I'm, I can do a run with only Unarmored X, like you could read in the title. I'm not sure if I, if I can do it, I've never tried it before. Although I know that it's possible and I kind of know what I have to get. So let's see if I can do. And uh, by the way, I will not care about the story at all. Because, yeah, it's Mega Man X 6 story. So let's just mash through this crap here, blah blah blah, and I need to change some settings. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, there we go. Uh, usually these guys here, for some reason, they st they still hit me. But nah, it's gonna be alright. I mean, there are certainly some things that, that I just don't like about Mega Man X6 at all, like, for example... I hate X's voice. You get hit so often in Mega Man X6 that I just... I just have no idea why they had to give X such a... BLAH and BLAH and BLAH voice. Like, why did they do this? His voice in Mega Man X4, at least in the Japanese version, was alright. Like, it added flavor and it was not in the, in the way. His voice in this game is just in the way, I don't get it. Why did they have to do it this way? But uh, at least it's it's not it's not too bad. I mean, there are words like the English voices in Mega Man X7, like ugh. <laughs> it's gonna take a long time again until uh, until voices in Mega Man X games are good again, like the English voices in Mega Man X8. But nah, whatever. Now we're at Mega Man X6, and. A lot of people say that the game feels very random to them, and we get to that. But almost all parts of this game are 100% controllable, like the Nightmare system. But like I said, we'll get to that. First, let's finish this this boss here. Which is like, just like all the other intro bosses in Mega Man X games, an easy pushover, as he should be. That's good. He doesn't waste my time too much. He has an obvious weak spot. And he's big. Just like I said, like it should be. Also, a lot of people are complaining about Axis Z Saber that he got from Mega Man X5. And uh, yeah, I can see where people are coming from. I just. Mm, I think it's. It's okay. It's reasonably fast enough. He just does one swing, but you can, like, dash cancel it. Although most of the time it's not necessary, and especially for unarmored acts, in my opinion, his charge shot is good enough for most enemies. It, it exploded, and now there's... My god, who is that? Is that zero? No! And it explodes. Everything explodes. Hey, Kate, you want to have some too? 
Look at how... <laughs> look at how he's looking at my tea. There he goes. Zero? Was that re really him? Yeah, we'll unlock Zero, but we'll never use him. I don't know. I... There's so many fans of Zero from X4, X5, X6. Uh, I don't like using him. But that's just me. I definitely acknowledge that for most parts of especially X6, he's the superior character. Not, not everywhere, but he can certainly turn into a beast. And I've seen enough videos of that, although I'm just not... I'm just never good at him. Like, I suck using Zero in X4, for example. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Let's continue. And now there's a giant bunch of text we gotta mash through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh god, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh, there we go. Okay. Most people will start with Commander Yenmark. Mm, I don't really like doing that because uh, going to his stage will trigger the nightmare effect of Shield Sheldon stage. And that nightmare effect is just so annoying, I hate it. And there's there are a lot of bosses you can take out as your first because most bosses in this game are pushovers, for the most part. Except him, of course. But I like to start with Blizzard Wolfang, or like he's called in Japan, Blizzard Wolfangu, or something like that. Uh, why? The, the, the names in this game, they, they didn't translate them at all to English. Uh, since Mega Man X1 in Japan, the bosses always had very, very strange names. But they usually translated them. In this game, they just took the original, like this one. Yeah, Blizzard to Wolfangu. And they just didn't change it at all. It just it was just kept as Blizzard Wolfang instead of Blizzard Wolf. I mean, I, I don't blame the, uh, the developers in Japan, because, like I said, the names were always a bit strange in Japan. No problem with that. Ah, that guy always hits me. Okay, we made it through. For this part, always do a dash jump. And yeah, by the way, you saw a lot of Raploids down there that I didn't rescue. I don't care about them because none of them carries anything that I need. They all—they only have extra lives and I certainly don't care about those. Now, don't jump. I tried that a few times. It never works. Just wait. Be patient. You'll make it through. That's the thing about this stage. Sometimes you can breeze through, sometimes you gotta be patient. Like this one, you have to breeze through. And this part is pretty shitty. There's uh, there's a very small window and you need a lot of luck to get through. It's, it's very strange. Nah. Here, just be careful and we'll make it through. Hello. And this is another part. Sometimes you can you can be very unlucky with this one. Because the pattern how they fall is pure RNG. Yeah. Great. And some of them have wolves, some of them don't. Ah, oh, but that already looks good. Thanks. Don't jump to the middle because of these spikes. I've did it before. And it sucked. Oh, uh, oops. Where am I shooting at? Like, especially at this part. Axe, uh, unarmored Axe's uh, charge shot is very, very useful. I hate the charge shot of the, the Falcon armor. It's so puny. And it doesn't do anything. Like, I am very, very unlucky right now. Yeah, let, let me up. Okay, thanks. This could have gone very wrong. Now we've got to this part. A lot of people have trouble when they're not zero. Just jump. Right, uh, right before that. Let the controls go and jump right before. One of these guys has a part that I need. I always forget which one it was. And if you get squished, doesn't matter. It will just take out some health. It will not kill you. What will kill you is if they materialize. Th this one doesn't have anything, I know that. 
if they materialize and kind of mash you bet between them. This will kill you. Yeah, and most of the time this boss is a pushover. Yeah, I'm saying this now, and he's gonna wreck me. It's a triangle. Yada, yada, yada. Now, come on, Wolfie. I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh yeah, this attack. That is probably the most pathetic attack you can ever make. make <laughs> the, the cracks of the eyes, they, they don't even hurt you. <laughs> and he does that again. <laughs> like, this is the most unthreatening attack you can do. Oh wow, and now it's from above. Oh hey, jump at me. Also, he just doesn't do enough damage. Yeah. Like, these bosses, they're kind of a counter-argument uh, to people who say this game was made for hardcore fans or something. Then why is the difficulty between the stages and the bosses so unbalanced? It was just sloppy design pretty often. Like, so many of, of the bosses, if you just want to play a Mega Man game where you, uh, where you want to find out weaknesses or something because you struggle with the boss patterns, this is not, this is not it. Yeah, blah blah blah. Made it through the stage, I got a weapon and the weapon is shit. It's only useful to get to certain platforms. There you go, I got one life up. And the boss is an asshole, like all the other jerks here. And let me save. Thank you. Alright, now the nightmare effect is triggered. What does that mean? If you enter a stage, then... I mean, ex except for uh, Blizzard Wolfang stage and Metal Shark player stage, usually it triggers two nightmare effects in other stages. In this case, you can see this stage is red now. That means the, there are certain parts where the floor is iced. Hmm. The nightmare effect uh, will stay in the stage forever until they are switched out by another nightmare effect. Once the stage is hit with a nightmare effect, it will stay there. Then uh, the stage cannot be without a nightmare effect anymore. So, for example, if you go to... Uh, Infinity Maginion stage, it will trigger the lights out effect in these two stages. And it will never go away, you can just override it with other nightmare effects. Uh, in, so in this ca in case of Commander Yenmark, it's um, Rainy Turtle Lord's uh, nightmare effect that's going to override it. And that's what I mean. All of this stuff is 100% controllable. You can switch it out for a nightmare effect it's not too bad for you because the lights out effect is just the worst. Or oh, the raining fire in uh, in Infinity Maginion stage, that is horrible. Just switch it out with uh, with the nightmare effect from Metal Shock player stage. God damn it, these names. So next, I like to take out uh, Shield Sheldon, or I think how he's called here, Shirudonau Sherudang, something like that. Yeah, there you go. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Why couldn't they translate him to something like shield shellfish? And the first part of this stage has a giant bunch of nothing. Only a Raploid that you can rescue. And there are these noodle guys, the nightmares. So they want to wrap hold of... Uh, a hold of uh, the Raploids that contain parts, although uh, I must say I don't know if they ever do that, like if they ever uh, catch a Raploid that contains a very important part. I, I know the ones you need to finish the game, they, uh, they're they never in danger. Like the one, uh, the Raploid who, who has the high jump. He's never in danger. That At least that's a good thing. Or the one who has the, uh, the Hyper Dash. Same for that one. He can never be attacked by a nightmare. Most of them we'll see later. Uh, like I said, they, they don't have anything. 
I just wish they would have done it like in Mega Man X7 later, and that's probably one of the only things Mega Man X7 did correctly. I hate this game, I'm sorry. I mean Mega Man X X7. Uh, where they show the name of the Reploid right, in, uh, right above him. So later you can check who gave you what. In this game, yeah, you see the names later when you rescue them, but you don't see them while you're rescuing them, which is stupid. <laughs> A lot, of thing, a lot of things in this game is just stupid, but I can still live with them. Okay. If he does that, hit him twice. He's gonna do something like that again. Just stand here. Ow! Okay, didn't... Didn't think he would do that. I'm confused now. Now he's gonna do a special move. If he does that, lure him down here. And then you can jump over him. And then screw it up like I just did there. Can you please not? Uh, yeah, I didn't go in with full life. In this stage, it's very hard to not get hit. Nah, come on, let's do that again. Shouldn't be too hard. Ah, T is life. Hole, hole. Okay. Ow. Why am I still getting hit by this? Yeah, the 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 bosses they just <laughs> really not uh, really strangely designed. Ah. Okay, well that didn't go so well. Oh wow, this one, he barely does that, usually. Okay, wow, that hit hard. Just one more hit, come on. Oh my no, he says, and he goes down. That's probably the worst part of uh, Unarmored X, that his defensive... Abilities are so limited. He takes so much damage. Like holy hell. But with this done, did we get any? Yeah, the, the weapon here. Most people say it's it's very use, useless. Mm, it has very limited uses. Yeah, like you can use it in uh in rainy turtloid stage to make some parts a bit a little easier especially about the rockets later but we'll get to that and also it helps a lot against the nightmare effect that's triggered by this stage it's the only thing that makes this bearable okay we got a life up that's all we need and the boss is an asshole again let's save And yeah, the, again, this triggered the nightmare effect of these two stages, but the weapon we just got is very good at dealing with it. So, next time we're gonna attack... Um, I think, yeah, we're gonna go to K Commander Yanmark. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.